Hello Leos, welcome to your mid-February 2016 tarot reading. Um, one of the things I'm getting for you very strongly is that I do feel hopes, wishes, dreams coming true for this um, for the next two weeks, okay? A lot of it is um, has to do with your emotional state where you're feeling very content, you're feeling very protected, you're feeling quite good about yourself. A lot of it as well deals with um, messages, communication coming through, where it deals with an outpouring of emotions, okay? Um, it's not usually, I, I wouldn't say it's bad, but I feel like it's a lot of emotional communication, which I feel can always be very therapeutic. If you've had, you know, difficulties with another person, positive outpouring of emotions in any context is going to allow for people to understand where one another is coming from and as well to heal rifts between people. It is really important for you to not drag your feet this month and be very, very, um, I, I would say like try to be cooperative, try to put yourself in another person's shoes to understand where they're coming from because I feel that the communication and outpouring of emotions is going to allow you to understand what the other, pe the other people you're dealing with have been grappling with, the things that they are, you know, it allows you to put yourself in their shoes to understand where they're coming from, okay? So don't drag your feet, don't be stubborn, and um, especially, I feel almost like um, there are a lot of people around you that are interested in, you know, dating you, getting to know you, and um, wanting to be around you. So I, I definitely feel that you're going to be solicited by multiple people, multiple times possibly. You're going to be solicited by other people around you. So let me get one last card here. Okay, so first of all, Okay, so let's talk about the, the recent past. In the recent past, we had a situation where things were not going your way, okay? With the sun in the reverse position, this is basically um, all about the ego. This is pretty much about, you know, our sense of individuality, not wanting to cooperate or having being in a situation where it was really difficult for you to cooperate with another person. They themselves are either making it difficult or there are just too many people with too many ideas. And it made it very difficult for all of you to head in one common direction or at least to achieve some type of common goal or purpose. Okay, This is also a card indicative of children as well. So there might have been some difficulties in agreeing on how to raise a child, child rearing practices, discipline when it comes to children, or not even seeing eye to eye as to whether or not you want children with a significant other, okay? So this is something about children, about our creativity, and about our imprint of um, our sense of individuality versus, you know, collectivism. So there is some, some clashes between you and another, okay? And then not being able to achieve the outcome that you want or not being able to achieve some type of common goals together, in the present situation, we have the justice card. And the justice card is in the reverse position. So a lot of you, this is usually indicative of some contract being broken, mainly because people are not cooperating. When it's in the reverse, it means that um, one side or both sides feel as if the decision is not fair. It's usually a divorce situation, separation, legal issues. And what's crossing it is the star card. The justice card may, I feel like this court case situation is dragging on and as a result of it, you just want it to end and you feel as if every time somebody brings up court case, you, you get very tired, you get very exasperated and I feel as if the other side might be dragging their feet and as a result of it, no one is able to move on and it, it's a little bit cumbersome, it's a little bit problematic and you just want a clean break and you just want it done and over with so you can move on so you don't have to think about it anymore. The foundation here is the three of coins. This is a card about collaboration. This is a card about work harmony. People are finally coming together, allowing their ego, you know, 
letting their egos aside in order for them to come together, cooperate with one another, and to create or build something of value. This is a card about consulting other people and it deals with negotiations as well. So something is at a standstill and some type of negotiation is still in the works for you. What's crossing it here or crowning the reading is the Ace of Swords where people are not being truthful where they're hiding assets they're possibly hiding the truth so for a lot of you in a court case negotiation for whatever reason i do feel there are some deceptions there are some lies there are people holding back information okay and as a result of it i do feel that the court situation is dragging on a lot longer than it should if you are dealing with an earth sign so this is um capricorn taurus Virgo, in this situation, it is a little bit frustrating because you feel as if it's not fair that they're walking away and getting their fair share of it. I also feel that it is going to work itself out to your favor. So don't be stubborn about this. Just the important thing is to let it end and then move on with your life. That's what I'm sensing. But I feel that you are so... It's it's like... You have some very good cards coming through and I feel as if wishes and you know hopes and dreams are going to be completed for you. But I feel as if you're being stubborn about something and you know in any type of court situation we all want a very favorable outcome. We want the people who have done wrong to be punished. But in this situation I feel that you're wishing for something um, you're wishing for a resolution and because the the drag the the court case has been dragged on for so long or some legal dispute or something like that or some collaborative project has been dragged on for so long you're becoming resentful so don't get yourself in that space okay stay optimistic and cooperate with other people just make sure that we all want the same things and the the most important thing is you want the situation to end so that you can move on with your life and start out with a clean slate so just wish that everything will get wrapped up nicely uh, divine intervention will take place sooner or later it might not happen now but it is going to come through for you so don't be stubborn just you know try to wrap this up okay in terms of the advice, we have the Seven of Cups and the uh, as the advice card, there is only one way for this situation. All the choices are being dwindled down and you're ending up with the true choice. In terms of your external environment, we have the Nine of Cups here. The Nine of Cups indicates people in your environment getting their wishes fulfilled. At the same time, as the Nine of Cups in your external environment, this is a wish card and it also indicates there is somebody in your environment that they might be a little bit guarded, but I do feel that they're letting their guard down. They're revealing to you whatever it is that um, they're, they're revealing their feelings to you. Somebody is putting their guard down. They might have been however guarded they were in the past, however, you know, um, it might have been a turnoff for you when you don't really understand where they're coming from and they're not really speaking from their heart I feel that this is the month in which they're coming to you or at least approaching you with with more of an open heart so earlier when I mentioned that I felt like there was uh, some messages of some communication and some grand gesture when it comes to um, people openly expressing their emotions like this outpouring of emotion via you know via letters via text messages or via some type of communication I feel like that's what's happening here somebody really does want to be with you and in the past they might have been in your work environment and now that the the work situation is coming to an end they feel like maybe they can approach you and I feel like that's what's happening so keep yourself very optimistic and you know try to let the the person in okay if they've been guarded in the past it's because of the work environment there might have been too many people and they felt like they felt like it wasn't appropriate for them to show their feelings in a work setting so now that the work project and legal issues are coming to an end they feel like it's safe to approach you I feel like that's what's happening and you're going to get the exact person that you want so if you've been pining after somebody and I feel for a lot of you it might be an earth sign 
So, you know, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, I feel like that's what's happening. They have gone off on their own in order to secure some wealth for themselves, in order to, you know, have a stable foundation. And I do feel they're coming back. That's what's happening here. In terms of uh, hopes and fears, this is the unveiling process. This is about, you know, uh, opening up presence. This is also about truths being revealed to you, seeing somebody in their true light. And I feel that it is a really positive card, okay? It's just about revelation. When it's in the upright position, I do feel that there is somebody coming to you and you're seeing them in a brand new light and they're giving you information and they're being completely honest and truthful, by the way. But I feel like you're seeing a side of them that you haven't, that you didn't expect. And it, it's kind of, it's refreshing, but it's kind of catching you off guard. In terms of the advice, we do have the Knight of Coins. And the Knight of Coins is, um, this is once again an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Taurus. And this is somebody that is coming through for you. And I do feel as well that this is somebody that you are interested in or is somebody who has interest in you. If this is somebody that you're interested in, they are already intrigued by you. You don't have to, you know... Um, show off or anything like that you don't have to be boastful in order to get them to notice you they have already noticed you so it is really important for you to be um honest and sincere okay what i'm sensing is this you know the magician is somebody who is quite flashy quite manipulative in this card and they like to distort the truth they'd also like to brag so when it's in the reverse it's it has a very negative connotation and the way I'm looking at this is you don't have to do very much. Just be your authentic self and the other person will, um, they already like you. And they might be turned off if you exhibit these qualities, okay? It might be a little bit of a turn off for them. So that's just something I want you to be careful about. I also want to say that if it's a love relationship, new love relationship, somebody that is coming through and you want to date them, be very, very decisive as to what you want because I feel as if they're a little bit picky and they're a little bit skeptical so for example if you tell them you know oh I, I'm looking for short-term romance for example when you really want a relationship it's just not going to go well so be very decisive honest about what it is that you want and then be upfront about that when you talk to them okay the other thing I'm sensing is for a lot of you uh, when it comes to a work situation you might be at an end uh you might be at an end of a negotiation cycle and you're negotiating salary or you're at negotiating some type of settlement the financial situation the financial gift is going to come through for you um i do feel it is going to be delayed a little bit so there is additional paperwork involved okay so i feel that you're getting your wish you're getting whatever the amount it is that you're hoping for you're going to get it but i do sense that don't celebrate this victory mainly because there's some other paperwork some other entanglements that needs to be re addressed first before the money will actually um, land in your hands so I, I do feel that it is going to take some time and you want to you know just um, make sure you don't celebrate it too early okay at the same time what I'm feeling is usually when it comes to settlements okay when it comes to court issues where there is a contract and when it there is a settlement I want to say that um, that is very very karmic money and Whenever I see people, and, and I see this a lot, um, where, you know, money comes out of the blue, it seems as if money is coming out of the blue. But if you think about it on an energetic level, that money has to come from somewhere. And when it happens, it is meant to be diverted in the way that can generate more wealth, or it has to be spent very wisely, okay? It's basically a gift from the universe, and when it comes to settlement, it's one of the purest gifts. And you want to just um, don't waste it. Don't be extravagant with the way that you spend it. Because I do feel that it is going to be this nest egg for you to cushion you. Um, it's like money that is going to help you one rainy day when you're kind of uh, down and out. 
you might need that money. So I want you to swirl it away. If this is the situation you find yourself in, try to, you know, in, um, hold on to it. Don't spend it. And um, additionally, I do feel it is going to come through for you, but it is going to take a little bit more time than you initially hoped for, okay? So just be careful about that. If you are looking for new jobs, I feel new jobs, opportunities, offers as well, it's going to come through. If you are going through interviews for the next two weeks, I just want you to be very truthful and honest and, you know, avoid dressing or hyping up things or being too flashy is what I'm sensing because in that context, it might not be very well received with your potential employers, okay? It is really important for us to talk or, you know, like uh, hype up all of our accomplishments and all the jobs that we've done. But I feel that you might need to tone down a little bit because it could be a little bit more hurtful during the job interview process. So try to be humble. Try to be there and, you know, emphasize the fact that you're there to learn and you're there to um, refine your knowledge base. And I feel that doing that would allow you to be looked upon in a very favorable light. I feel that the people that are potentially interviewing you are water signs or earth signs. Water signs or earth signs. And water signs and earth signs are looking for people who are humble, down to earth, easy to relate to because they do want you not just for your skills um, as a worker, but also as your ability to work alongside the people that they've already hired. So they want people to get along. They want a harmonious, cooperative, collaborative work environment. So I do feel they want somebody who is a little bit humble, down to earth, easy to approach and easy to befriend okay so you don't have to go out of your way to please them because i know that deep down you are very very sociable and you make people feel very comfortable so in the job interviews just be careful about that all right so um leos i do wish you the best for the rest of this month and um if you like a private reading please email me at uh, temperatestar.gmail.com or you can visit my website and book an appointment for yourself. I am booked out until February 25th, I believe. Yes. So, um, yeah, visit my website if you'd like to book an appointment and I wish you the best. Um, there will be good news coming through in love and also in work, settlements and things like that, okay? So just be very patient. And um, in the meantime, just... Um, be your awesome self and, you know, be cooperative as well, okay? I'll see you in March. Please take care of yourself. Bye-bye.